Welcome to the art project. We're going to do a video that is both for Inktober and just kind of a, uh, I don't know, maybe an AP Studio art project too. Uh, yesterday I did a video for art class, uh, AP Studio maybe, or drawing, where I drew with a stick and I had three different kinds of pencils. Today I'm going to draw the prompt for Inktober, which is bottle. I'm going to draw the bottle, this little ink bottle right here. I'm going to draw it with a brush and uh, speedball black ink at the end of a four foot long stick. I put the paper on the floor and I stood up um, beside it or in front of it and I started drawing. Uh, one of the great things that sort of immediately happened was that my picture ended up just being like larger obviously larger than life but also uh, so big that it didn't fit on the paper which is great as we all know uh, for our composition to leave the paper on three or more sides and so that was good but um, I kind of didn't intend for that of course at the beginning I was going to draw it and it was all going to fit on the paper but it didn't and I'm so glad that it didn't um, it turned out good so um, Again, it's a four foot long stick, a brush, and uh, different um, different uh, solutions of India ink. I have one that is pure, not India ink. Well, maybe it is India ink, but Speedball Black ink. One is pure, one is watered down a little bit, and then there's a bucket of water. And so I just kind of interchange between those. I don't want to start out too dark, because obviously anything I put down that's too dark, I can't really cover up. <clears throat> so... Most of my marks were made with the real uh, watered down ink. Um, and then as I got towards the end, I started adding more and more pure black ink. Um, <clears throat> some of my students have said that this was aggravating and frustrating. And that's probably true if you're entering into it with uh, sort of an OCD mentality. Uh, most of the students who complained about it were the kind of students who felt like everything needed to be just right and just perfect and so on but um it's it's really good for loosening up uh you got to take yourself or not take yourself so seriously uh just kind of jump in there don't be afraid of scribbling don't be afraid of getting outside the lines you know all those things that um that everybody tells you you got to do uh, well you don't have to do when you have a four foot long stick it's just practically impossible to get a straight line or do it just the way you want to not that you shouldn't try um, but don't get mad at yourself when it doesn't happen right so anyway um, another great thing about this um, that I really enjoyed was um, once I got to the end I got a big old fat I don't know maybe three inch brush or four inch brush and uh, tied it to the end of the stick there you go and I used that to do the background and I just mopped it on there I mean soaked it down with water really really good and um, and then I dripped some ink in it and watched it spread and then I um, kind of brushed it around some more uh, it was fantastic and the funny thing is uh, looking at it in the video it just looks a whole lot better I think than it would have if I had actually done it uh, you know normal with a stick pen and nib or even even an artist pen um, it's nice and sloppy got lots of energy um, it's lots of really good stuff anyway it was a lot of fun and like I said it is also the inktober prompt of the day which was bottle so hope you liked it go make some art Give me a thumbs up too, please.